Hello, everybody. My name is Andrew from Brickmeister Z. And guess what? LEGO Weekend News returns. Include new LEGO promos for November 2022 and the reveal of the new LEGO Marvel Hulkbuster set and the new LEGO Ideas Foosball Table set. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Brickmeister Z channel as well as turn on all notifications and leave me a comment about this week's news. But let's get into it. First up in LEGO Ideas news, LEGO recently released the new foosball table set. And this set is also known as Table Football. This is set number 21337 and this has a total of 2,339 pieces. And this set was released on November 1st, 2022 for the price of $250. The build for the foosball table is a scaled down version from the original version. The original version of this set was designed by Constructions by Donat, and this was the winner of the We Love Sports contest that was announced during LEGO Con of last year. How the play features works with the foosball table is that if you rotate the rods, the players start to rotate at the same time, which means one of the players will kick the ball into the net to score a goal. So that's pretty cool. This set has 11 minifigures on each team. One for the blue team and one for the red team. That's a total of 22 minifigures altogether. And what's crazier is that you can customize your minifigures with a choice of 44 different heads and 43 hair pieces in order to change up the look of your team. And the customization of those minifigure pieces are found on the back of the box. But not only that, you can also put your minifigures in the grandstand as fans when they're watching the game. Oh, and if you lift up the grandstand, there is a storage bin underneath to store extra minifigure head and hair pieces in order to customize your minifigures. This set will be a great display piece, and this will look perfect next to the LEGO Ideas Grand Piano and Typewriter sets as part of those real life objects. I can't wait to get my hands on this new set and play it around a foosball, but we'll have to wait and see if I get it. Next up in LEGO Store news, they revealed all the new LEGO promos for November 2022. From November 1st through the 11th, you can get the free LEGO minifigure coasters when you spend over $65. The design of these coasters features LEGO minifigure heads where you can set your coffee mug on it. Also from November 1st through the 11th, you can get the free LEGO fleece blanket with purchases over $200. From November 1st to the 18th, you can get the free VIP fun and funky add-on pack when you spend $50 or more if you're a LEGO VIP member. From November 19th to the 20th, you will earn double VIP points during LEGO VIP weekend. Also from November 19th to the 20th, you will get the free LEGO Winter Elf scene set with purchases over $170. And then we also have the free tribute to LEGO House set when he spends $250 or more. Starting on November 25th, which is Black Friday, you will get the free Eiffel's Apartment set with the purchase of the new LEGO Icons $608 Eiffel Tower set. The reveal of this new set will be coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. Next up in LEGO Marvel news, LEGO recently revealed the new Infinity Saga Hulkbuster set. This is set number 76210, and this has a total of 4,049 pieces. And this new set will be coming out on November 9th, 2022 for $550. The build for the Hulkbuster features all the brick build details around the model, and the arms are completely pulsable. And this set features three light bricks that all light up the Hulkbuster, including two in the hands and one in the center of the arc reactor. The head features a large dome piece with the Iron Man's print at the front, and the model opens up to reveal the cockpit section and you can actually put an Iron Man figure inside. This figure is not included in this new set, and it only came in the LEGO Marvel Iron Man figure set, which is set number 76206. 
and this set features a Tony Stark minifigure and a UCS style plaque to show some information about the Hulkbuster. And both of them fit on this display stand. This set may be too expensive for most of us, but the design looks really cool. So there you have it. That's it for LEGO Weekend's news from this week. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll be back next weekend with more LEGO news. Let me know in the comments about which LEGO stories from this week are you most excited for. And don't forget to subscribe to the Brickmeister Zeek channel, as well as turn on all notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!